friends and family. Now this video might be a little deceiving because I'm titling it Life Update, but I've wanted to vlog for the longest time ever and I'm really bad about starting a vlog or starting like a video where I'm talking and then I get off topic or tangent and I edit it and then I just never end up uploading it. So I promised myself I was gonna record myself vlogging, giving an update in my life, what I'm doing. Nothing too big, but an update nonetheless. And I figure I'm just going to do it. Whatever is in this video, I'm going to upload and just give you guys a life update because I don't want to, um, I don't know, I want to be real and I don't want to edit this video completely to where it's not um, personable. So, hi guys, how are y'all doing? Um, I've been wanting, like I said, I've been wanting to vlog for a really long time now. I fell in love with YouTube, gosh, back in 2007 when I was going to college, living in San Antonio without cable. I had internet and YouTube was my only form of entertainment. I would come home and I would watch YouTube vlogs and I would always tell myself, I want to do that. And then in maybe 2011, 2012, I tried doing it and it just didn't pick up off the ground. I shot a whole bunch of videos like the one I'm doing right now and I would edit them and then I would just never upload them because I wasn't happy with the way they were. I didn't like my voice. I didn't like the way I looked, but it got to the point more recently where I just thought, you know what, if I want to vlog and I've always wanted to do it, I'm just going to have to do it and just put myself out there and live the dream of someday being a YouTube vlogger. For those of you who don't know what vlogger is, it's a video vlogger. So somebody who records videos like this talking to themselves in a car to give those following them an update in their life. So to give you guys an update, for the past seven months now, since October, I've been living in Odessa, Texas as a news reporter, and it has been incredibly um, exciting, it's been rewarding, it's been one of those things where I'm scratching my head and thinking, what the heck did I get myself into? I'm living in West Texas. Why? <laughs> but I, I applied to, I graduated in May 2015 with two bachelor degrees, one in radio, television, and film, and one in theater with an emphasis in acting. And um, I applied to dozens and dozens of television jobs and I got nowhere. So a really good friend of mine, Paula Cudrado, if you're watching right now, I hope I said your name right. But if you're watching right now, Paula, I wouldn't have this job if it wasn't for you. My friend Paula worked at the station that I'm working at now, and she gave our news director at the time kind of a heads up that I was looking for a job in television. He looked at my demo and he liked what he saw, and here I am living in Odessa, Texas now. But um, I am an MMJ, which stands for Multimedia Journalist. So um, a reporter has a cameraman and you know somebody to edit their packages for them most typically. But I do everything on my own. I'm a one-man band, so I try to find the people that I'm going to interview for the story I'm doing that day. I go to them wherever they are. I'm the one who interviews them, sets up the camera, and gets all of the footage that is in my story for that newscast that day. I do all of that. I edit it. I write it with the help of our anchors, of course. They check all of my writing because I am not that good of a writer. But um, yeah, multimedia journalist means that um, I do it all. I I write it, I film it, I edit it, and I present it uh, for the five o'clock um, new show here in Odessa. Or I say here in Odessa, but I'm driving right now. You guys might be wondering um, why I'm talking and driving at the same time. But I'll show you guys later. I bought this really cool tripod for my cell phone, and um, I'm totally driving with both hands right now, and I'm looking at the road. There's nobody around, just occasionally looking at my phone. Um, but yeah, I got a new iPhone, and I hope 
now that the camera quality is a little bit clearer and because I got a 64 gig that I can record these videos on my cell phone with this new tripod that I got. And it's really cool, it even comes with this little Bluetooth clicker so that I can like start and stop with this little clicker right here, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I hope to start uploading these vlogs maybe once a week, um, show you guys what's going on in my life, and um, hopefully get to see a little bit of yours in the comments that people comment below. Um, moving around so much in the last maybe six or seven years of my life, um, I've lost touch of a lot of people, a lot of really good friends and you know, the different places that I've lived, and um, I feel like this vlogging right here is a really good way to, um, to let my friends know what I'm doing in my life, and um, hopefully to reconnect and to see what you guys are doing in your lives. But, um, I don't know what kind of response this is going to get. I hope people watch this baby um, on my YouTube or on my Facebook. I don't know how I'm go- I don't- I feel like I've seen enough people vlog professionally to know what it takes to do it. And it takes a lot of work, a lot of editing, a lot of thought. Um, two of my favorite vloggers are Mark E. Miller and Ethan Hethcote. Um, they're a boyfriend couple and Every time I watch their vlogs, I just melt a little bit because they are living my dream life in love, vlogging about their relationship and their life, and people are sponsoring their videos so that they can fly all around and do different things, and um, I don't know if that's what I want to do, but um, it'd be really nice to, um, I don't know, to have my, maybe vlogging be a springboard for my on-air presence because television is ultimately... Um, what I want to do as a career, my dream job is to be a um, entertainment correspondent or anchor for Good Morning America. So I'm giving myself about 10 years, you guys, um, just wait and see. In about 10 years, I'll be on Good Morning America. That's the plan, that's the goal, that's the dream at least. And um, I don't know how I'm going to get there, but um, my job at Local 2 News, KMID in Odessa, Texas, is a starting point into television, and I can't wait to see where the good Lord takes me, where my talents take me, where having this job takes me, and um, I look forward to documenting that and to sharing that with you guys. So. I'm looking at my time log right now. I've been talking for seven minutes and 43 seconds, and I've just been rambling. <laughs> and if you're still watching, thank you. Um, but that's what vlogging is. It's just people talking and giving an update in their life and trying to get creative with it. So if I can keep this up, I will try to make them a little bit more creative, show you guys what I do at work. Um, I guess just to give me an idea to see how well this is received, if you watch this video all the way through, in the comment section below here on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're watching it, give me your favorite quote and maybe one question that you would like for me to answer, either about myself personally or something that's going on in the world right now. I'm using my hands a lot when I'm driving, that's not safe, but I promise you guys there's nobody on the road that I'm driving on right now. But, um, but yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. I, I have definitely problems with attention deficit disorder in the fact that I can ramble like nobody's business and before you know it, I'm Okay, I'm gonna go back to where I was. <laughs> but I want to start vlogging, and if you guys have any questions um, that you'd like to ask me about what's going on in my life right now, and if you watch this video all the way through, put your favorite quote in the comment section below, and maybe one question that you'd like for me to answer. Okay, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to try to upload another video just like this next week, and let me know what you think. Would you like to see me vlog a little bit more? Am I just boring talking to the camera? Don't be too mean in comments, but <laughs> let me know. I love you guys, thanks for watching, and I hope this nine minute video is maybe the start to a loopy vlogging experience. I hope you guys join me. And now this is really cool, I don't have to press a button. I can press this right here to stop talking, but thank you guys for watching, I love you.